Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at Recall Box. Basically, Recall Box is a simplified game emulator operating system for your Raspberry Pi 4. And in this video, we'll set it up in a very simple case. I'll show you how to configure it and three different ways of transferring your game files and BIOS files. And we'll make time towards the very end to play a few games. Let's get started. To set up Recallbox, let's go to raspberrypi.org forward slash software. From there, scroll down a little bit until you see the Raspberry Pi Imager, and you can select a download for Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu for x86, or you can even install it to your Raspberry Pi if you're running Pi OS or Twister OS. Next, go ahead and get your micro SD card. In this case, I'm going to use a Gigastone 128 gig and pop it into the sleeve or a USB stick. Insert it into your computer of choice and select Choose OS. And from there, we'll scroll down a little bit till we see Recall Box. Go ahead and select that. And then select Recall Box. In this case, it's 7.1.1 for the Raspberry Pi or 400. Click it and click the button for Choose SD Card. And there you should see your micro SD card or SSD. Go ahead and select that. And click the right button. Verify that the correct card is selected and that you're okay with it being erased. Click yes and the write will proceed. You'll then see this dialog that lets you know that everything has been written to the SD card and you can click continue and then go ahead and close out of the Raspberry Pi imager. Let's take a quick look at the Raspberry Pi 4 itself. Here you have two USB 2.0 ports two USB 3.0 ports, and gigabit ethernet. Also, your GPIO header pins, your display port, and camera port. Over here, you have your USB-C power, as well as your primary HDMI, and your secondary HDMI, and your AV port. And if we flip the board over, this is where your micro SD card goes. A couple months ago, Kinnikid had sent me this pretty cool gaming case, so I figured now's a good time to go ahead and show it. So we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look. And it's a pretty bare bones case. There's not a whole lot to it. We'll go ahead and pop it open. Everything snaps together. There's no screws to install. In fact, there's a little cover that just pops open for your micro SD slot. We'll go ahead and put the Raspberry Pi 4 in and pop it into place. There is no fan that comes with it, but you can install one if you want. Just take the two latches at the end, put those in, and it snaps together. Now we'll pop in the micro SD card that has recall box installed. Put the cover back on. These purple buttons are non-functional, merely there to look like an SNES case. You will need a power supply, so in this case I'm going to use this one. It's a USB-C on one end and a 5.1 volt 3.5 amp. Now we'll go ahead and hook up our controller. You can use any controller or case that you prefer. This just so happens to be what I'm going to use for the initial setup. Plug in the micro HDMI nearest the power. And now we'll plug in the power itself and go ahead and turn on the unit. And now we're ready to start up Recall Box. Upon the first boot, it will take a little while and you will see this black screen during that time. Don't be too concerned, just let it finish up. It will create and expand a new partition, which will be very helpful for installing your games. The load screen will then appear, and you'll be presented with the UI. I'm going to go ahead and hit Start on the controller, move down to Sound Settings, and go ahead and turn off the front-end music so it'll be less distracting throughout the rest of the video. There are a large number of emulators already pre-installed, well over 40 some of which may not show up in the list until after you've installed some ROMs for those particular emulators, but this will give you a good idea of what's available to you. If you need to adjust the controller mapping, you can press the Start button, move down to Controller Settings, press A on Configure, and hold down a button on your controller, and press all the button sequences such as Up, Down, Left, Right, Joystick 1, Up, Left, 2, Up, Left, a, B, X, Y, Start, Select, the L1 up at the top, R1, L2, R2, 
and the L3, and the R3, and the hotkey of select, and just press A, and B to exit the menu. Let's quickly go over some of the menu options. Press start on your controller. We'll go to system settings, and here you can see the disk usage, which storage device is being used, the language. Recall box could be set to check for updates. And if you go under the game settings menu option, you can customize how the games look and feel. Maybe you want to include shaders, or you want scan lines, or if you want to enable netplay. We've already covered the controller settings, so we'll skip over that and go on to UI settings. And under here, you can enable the screensaver, enable the clock, and modify the theme if there's a different theme that you'd like to enable. And we'll go ahead and hit back. And under sound settings, you can adjust the volume level as well as enable the front end music. Under the network settings, you'll go in here to set up your Wi-Fi. So if it's turned off, which it is by default, go ahead and switch it to on. Here you can set your SSID or network name. So go ahead and select yours and hit back and enter your key. And if you don't see the IP address being displayed, just go back and then go back in and you should see your IP address. Now let's talk about how to copy BIOS and game files. There are three primary ways you may want to copy files to your recall box installation, and we'll cover each of those here. First, you can copy directly to the micro SD or SSD. There is a share that is created that will allow you to directly access it even in Windows. This is something not easily done with RetroPie. The second option is to use the Samba share of recall box or the IP address of the machine. This option does assume that you have connected either over Wi-Fi or to a hardwire connection to your network. And lastly, you can use the Recall Box Manager to be able to upload files including BIOS as well as your game or ROM files. This is a web-based interface and the file size is limited to 256 megabytes per file. Now let's take a brief look at each of these options. The first method is to copy files directly to the micro SD. When Recall Box starts up for the first time, it will take a little while to set up initially, and that's because it's setting up this boot partition as well as a secondary partition, which is your share. If I right click here and take a look at the properties, you can see that it's an XFAT file system, which means it's readable by Windows, which is very nice. You can go into the BIOS here and copy any of your BIOS files, as well as the ROMs. You can just copy your games directly. As an example, we'll go into the Atari 2600 and select ROMs over on the share and go to Atari 2600. And I'll go ahead and select the files over here on the left from my NAS and copy them and paste them directly into the Atari 2600 folder. If you have a lot of files to copy, this is certainly the fastest. The next method assumes that you've connected your Raspberry Pi 4 running recall box up to your network. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the micro SD back in, power everything back up, and now we'll type backslash backslash recall box, press enter, and you will see a share simply called share. <laughs> Just double click that and it'll open up the same share that you saw on the micro SD where you can copy your BIOS files as well as your ROMs. Just double click on the ROM subfolder and wherever you want to copy your games. And the third and final option that we're going to take a look at is the Recall Box Manager. Now if you go to your web browser, type HTTP Recall Box, you should see the Recall Box Manager interface, which looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and click Monitoring and just quickly show you something else before we look at where to copy files. If you go to Monitoring, you can see the processor, memory usage, as well as the temperature. You'll definitely want to play around here. There's a lot of nice features. If we go to BIOS, you can see all the BIOS files that are either missing or the ones that have been installed. You can go to ROMs and, of course, go ahead and click one of these shares. For example, I'll go to the Atari 2600. And if you scroll down, if you click the Upload ROMs, It'll open a little window where you can drag and drop your ROMs here. Pretty cool stuff. And I'll quickly want to show you a few other features. If you go down to Scraper, Recall Box can go out to the internet and grab the artwork for all the games that you have installed. If you scan for all systems and you have a lot of games installed, it can take quite a while, so just be aware. 
I'm going to select none in this case and then move down to the Atari 2600. So I'm only going to scrape Atari 2600 games. I'll go down to the very bottom here and click start and it'll go out there and scrape some of the artwork for some of these Atari 2600 games. I'm going to go ahead and stop it real quick and we'll take a brief look. So now if I go to the Atari 2600, we'll see a little bit of artwork and metadata for our games. If you find that some systems just won't work properly, it could be that you're missing BIOS files. So go ahead and copy the correct files into the BIOS subfolder. And finally, when shutting down your Raspberry Pi, be sure and select Quit and Shut Down. Now let's try a little bit of gameplay on Recall Box. I'm going to switch over to the MAME emulator, and in this case I have quite a few MAME games. So if I hit the SELECT button, I can jump to a specific letter. So if I move off to the right and select G, now I can pick a game. We'll pick Galaga 88. To insert a quarter, press the SELECT button, or your hotkey, and then hit START. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the SNES, and we'll play a little bit of Donkey Kong Country. And now let's check out the PlayStation playing Tekken 3. You win. And now, Crazy Taxi on the Dreamcast. Thank you so much for watching this video on Recall Box on the Raspberry Pi 4. As you've seen, it's a very easy system to set up to play all your retro games. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.